Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and today uh, we're doing something a little different. I let an AI write the Vegas tutorial. I took the first 15 transcripts from Vegas tutorials I found on YouTube, and I plugged them in, and mine weren't a top search result. How sad. So I took one of mine, and I threw them in as well. So this has got a ton of different people and uh, Vegas tutorials influencing this, so we've kind of created a nice, good, generic Vegas tutorial out of this. So I'm excited to show it to you. We're going to see how it pans out. I'm going to need this pan. Let's roll a generic intro. Hey guys, what's up? It's going to pan out in the preview. Vegas is basically what it comes down to. The object to follow along with, the tracking, results close to the video event effects window. Now add and adjust all of the RGB red, green, blue color channels. You can see it's moving, right? It's doing, which is pretty nice. Also click the save button and go ahead and click on render as. So mine already have a fade. I'm just going to drag it and put it in the timeline. Make sure to smash that like button manually. You can see it is where we are going to the velocity line and double click on it. For example, click on the save button and go ahead and click on this project video properties. Make sure to smash that like button down below already. And I would say it should be in here. It says create pro level composites with unlimited layers and zero baked in changes. Pro with the video clips or the blending mode, for example, like a little bit more of an advanced feature. Again, we already have a fade. Cruddy for YouTube, but there's a difference between video tracks and audio tracks. Another way to bring Project Media tab right here, you can see the audio is slowly fading in and keep doing over and over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the top and dragging it out for you. So you can see it's moving, right? It's doing, which is pretty nice. Almost here. And then I have my media pretty small usually. My display is mostly so I can see it. New thing is the edit button. The view insert tool options a lot of these photos. Let me go back here so that there's a ton of different kinds of media in it. Actually, click on the save button and go ahead and click on render as. Your videos, so mine already have a fade. I'm just going to drag it and put it on the timeline. So this is what it looks like. It is a little bit more of an advanced feature. Again, we already have a fade. 